Hi there, back again with professional Dow Egbert's Espresso Extra Dark. Smooth and powerful beans. Now oh, this is a big old bag. Um, got it from the wholesalers. Thought we'd give it a go. Sounded nice on the packet. Should never understand them go from this. These write-ups that they put on the bags. Here we go. What about this one? Extra Dark Espresso consists of washed Arabica and high quality Robusta coffee beans, long dark roasting process and blend composition give the coffee a strong, powerful, intense taste with a somewhat sweet and spicy aftertaste. It's a perfect ristretto and espresso and provides an ideal base for the speciality drinks such as cappuccino and macchiato. Well... I did a lot. I stuck these in the machine. They smell really nice. Not a bad old whiff coming out of the bag. But I'll tell you all about it. I'm going to brew another cup. my first cup was a bad cup that there was something wrong with it because I wasn't impressed at all and normally you know you've got a lot of coffees going on that you think well it's okay it is you know tastes similar to other ones Mr. Dow Egbert I don't know mate what are you done with this let's boff some in and give them a grind Before I do, I'll just whip one out and show you what we've got. Look at that, the great light test. They're dark, they're really dark, nice and shiny. They look the part, they really do. I think the key to this was in the description was what they said about it's got the Arabic, Arabica bean and a high quality Robusta. Robusta bean, uh, maybe that's what, I've been having Arabica beans, a lot of these coffees, and a bit, they all say that they're the best bean. But when you stick in this Robusta bean in there, maybe that's what's really causing this problem for me. Now, let's like, like I say, let's, let's stick some more in, give it another go, and see if my first cup was just not quite right. Maybe, let's have a look, I'm not convinced. Another thing that I've been finding with these, uh, like the trade supermarket-y kind of beans, um, is that they don't clean out as well. I've tried loads of different grinds, but they're staying soggy in the, in the, in the porter filter. We're getting a bit of residue in there. I have to keep wiping it out or rinsing it or whatever. When you're getting a decent quality bean, they do tend to like just uh, drain out, you know, with the with the uh, three-way valve in the machine. It's it's keeping the keeping this clean, bang straight out, not a problem. But um, yeah, it's not so good. Okay, here we go. Let's get some going on. Okay, a minute, I'm bringing these in at a 10 on the grinder. The old Rocky's doing its job. I'll give them a quick swizzle and a press. See, even that's not. Hmm, picking up a bit on that. Do you know what I think I must have a little bit of damp there. 
Yeah, no, I've worked it out. Is that we did that with a bit of water on it or something? Or oh, maybe I've uh, failed straight away by having a bit of moisture on my tamper. Oh, amateur, amateur. Let's try that again now. That's better, that's better. And see that, getting a bit of moisture on my tamper. Right, we're in, we're in. Now again, I've gone for the single basket, because that's what I like to use. I don't want to change that. Hmm. There's definitely a, it says on the description, a spicy aftertaste. It's quite a strong, it's a strong smell, but it's not a nice coffee smell. Not, not. Mm, I'm going to, I'm going to do this. I've not done an Americano with this. So I'm going to bring this down. So we get a root just, yeah, I've tried it latte. I've done latte with it. I've had, not got a bad crema on that. It's not bad. So. I don't want to mix this with the water, with the milk. I'm going to try this straight out, Americano, just to test these beans out. Can't see that, can you? Let's try again. There she is, all bubbling away nicely. Right. The moment of truth. That tastes better than it did with the latte. Definitely, definitely better as an Americano. With the, oh, strange isn't it? Strange how these, these different blends alter with what you mix them with. It is a really bitter, it's a really bitter coffee this one. I mean, it's saying extra dark, smooth and powerful. I'm not saying it's not the smooth. I'm not having smooth. Definitely not. I'm not going with that. This has got, it's coming through now more uh, the further down I get. It's got this bitter aftertaste. Yeah, now on my tongue, that last sip now, it's still there and it's bitter. It is bitter. There's that, it says that spicy, and I think that's the Robusta. It's got to be the Robusta bean leaving that bitter aftertaste on your tongue. Still there now, it's still there, it's still, yeah, yeah. You've got to be really into your strong coffee. If you want a strong coffee, this fella's 
Yeah, right down your street. But for me, it, it doesn't taste quality. I can't... It, it, it's missing that, that quality, smooth, rich coffee taste. It, it just tastes... Uh, I want to say cheap. Yeah. <sighs> no, I don't know. Mm. Now, I was getting this, this kind of bitter after in the latte straight away. It was coming through. It was coming through in the crema, in the top of the coffee, and that, it, with the froth milk. It tastes better as a, as a straight black, but I won't be buying any more of this. Definitely not. Um... Not one of my favourites, I and mean, I've got a kilo of this stuff to bloody use now. Oh my god! Oh, a kilo, a kilo of coffee. I'm not keen on what I'm gonna do with that. Mm. I'll have to uh, give it everybody that comes round, visitors. <laughs> uh, does anybody want a coffee? <laughs> I'll drink it. I'll drink it. I'll grin and bear it. How long is it going to take me to drink a kilo of beans I don't like? They're going back in the cupboard, they are. They're going back in the cupboard. Holy smoke. God, this is knocking my head off, I tell you. Oh, where's my milder coffees? And yet that last one I did, the Verona, dark. Oh, I mean, it was... Oh, I forgot the bag for that. Where have I got it? Oh, here we go, look. Hey, I mean... Oh, yeah. The Verona. You know, this was a dark coca, bloody blah, blah Very nice. That was a really good dark coffee. Like that. Like that a lot. Dow egg bits. Mm, no, I'm not so good. Not so good with that. Oh, dear. Never mind, eh? So, yeah. Back to, <laughs> back to reality. Um, if you like it strong, if you like it bitter, with a bit of a pungent, smelly waft, this is the coffee for you. <laughs> oh, I'll catch you later.